Hello everyone, my name is Jatin Nagi and today we are going to discuss about instant noodles. Please watch this video till end and if you like it then please share and like this video and subscribe our channel for latest updates. So let's get started. What is instant noodles? Instant noodles or instant ramen are noodles salt in a pre-cooked and dried block with flavoring powder or seasoning oil. The flavoring is usually in a separate packet although in the case of cup noodle the flavoring is often loose in the cup. So this is how instant noodles looks like and I think most of us are familiar with this. So let's move further to ingredients used for manufacturing instant noodles. So there are some main and additional ingredients. Main ingredients are wheat flour, water, salt and additional ingredients are starch, edible oil, vital wheat gluten, polyphosphate, stabilizers, emulsifiers, guar gum, antioxidants and pre preservatives and color. So let's move further to processing and classification of instant noodles. So first is mixing of ingredients and sheeting, compounding, resheating or rolling to desired thickness then slitting and waving, then steaming, then cutting into one serving size, then molding into square round ball or cup shape, then oven drying, frying, after that Packaging. Packaging is of two types, bag type package and cup type package. So let's move further to mixing. This is the first process. Ingredients other than flour are pre-dissolved in water stored at 20 to 30 degrees Celsius while salt water can be prepared separately. Wheat flour and water along with other weight ingredients are mixed first at high speed and then at low speed giving a total time of 15 to 25 minutes of in industries basically and the mixing time however also depends on the type of mixture used this is important point indeed so let's move further to next process that is sheeting after mixing the crumbly dough is compressed to form continuous dough sheets which is folded or compounded and passed through subsequent rolls the sheeting process is intended to achieve a smooth dough sheeting with desired thickness and a continuous and uniform gluten matrix is dough sheet. So this is how it looks like. This is a sheeting process. So let's move further to our third process that is cutting, slitting and waving. The dough sheet is cut into noodle strands of desired width with a slitter. The width and shape of noodle strands are determined by cutting rolls. Noodles can be either square or round in shape. So this is how the cutting process looks like. So let's move further to steaming and molding the cut and wavy noodles strands are conveyed to a steam chamber to cook them by exposing to a temperature of 100 degrees celsius for one to five minutes the degree of cooking during steaming is critical and depends on the original moisture content of noodle amount pressure and temperature of steam and finally steaming time so this is how this process looks like so let's move further to our next process that is frying or drying so after steaming and molding, noodle blocks are fed into frying baskets which are mounted on the traveling chain of a tunnel fryer. The baskets filled with noodle blocks are immersed in hot oil for deep frying. The frying temperature and time are usually varied from 140 to 160 degrees Celsius for 60 to 120 minutes respectively. So this is how it looks like. So let's move further to our last slide that is packaging. Frying or drying is followed by cooling the product to room temperature to avoid rapid oxidation and other changes. The cooled noodles are packed into a bag alone with a soup base sachet. While for the cup noodles, powdered soup base is sprinkled over the noodles and sealed with the shrink film. So this is how packaging looks like. So this is all about our today's video. I hope you have learned something from this video. Please like and share this video and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.